Hello everyone, a warm welcome to all of you, those here in Australia and those of you who are watching us from overseas. Welcome to the first day of the Future Founders Festival 2021, part of the year-long Future Founders program. My name is Anna Berkey and I lead Startspace for State Library Victoria and the Future Founders program is brought to you by Startspace in partnership with our major partners, Study Melbourne and with extra special thanks to Practera who are sponsoring our pitch competition. In a moment, I'm gonna introduce our special guests from both the State Library of Victoria and Study Melbourne to formally launch and open the festival. But before I do that, on behalf of State Library of Victoria, where I am broadcasting from today, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional lands of all the Victorian Aboriginal clans and their cultural practices and knowledge systems. We recognize that the library's collections hold traditional cultural knowledge belonging to indigenous communities in Victoria and around the country. We support communities to protect the integrity of this information gathered from their ancestors in the colonial period. We pay our respects to their elders past and present who have handed down these systems of practice to each new generation for millennia. And it is the practice of sharing knowledge that gathers us all here digitally today. I know that many of you are joining us from communities that have been deeply affected by the ongoing pandemic. And I'd like to acknowledge the challenges facing many of us and our families with this ongoing situation. I suspect that during this festival, the topic of challenges to be overcome will be a recurring theme in our program. So I hope that over the course of the next two days, you will find some hope and inspiration and some practical advice to help you on your founding journey. Before we kick off, I have a little bit of housekeeping and some highlights to, to bring uh, to our attention. You're watching us through our digital hub and so you can interact with one another and make comments in the join the conversation chat box to the side. I'll be there later when I'm not presenting. Take a little bit of time to introduce yourselves to one another, let people know whether you're a founder, whether you're a student, what part of the startup community is really of interest to you. There's also a very uh, special networking hub. If so if you want to chat directly with another festival goer, you can head into that networking hub and find one another. You'll be able to react to events when they're happening. There's a pretty cool little emoji bar so that you can tell us how you're feeling and, and if there are any particular, um, uh, any particular pieces of information or advice that really resonate with you. Uh, and we'll very much encourage questions throughout the festival program using Slido. There's even a photo booth that you can have a bit of a play with uh, and give yourself a uh, background of the Future Founders Festival or, or the domed reading room at State Library of Victoria. So have a bit of a play with that online photo booth. You can use our festival hashtag, hashtag FFP21, to share with us what you're watching and enjoying during the festival over the next few days. And do encourage other people, registrations are open. We're welcome and open to all. So uh, share this with your friends and they can join in across the festival for the next two days. But to formally launch the festival, I am delighted to be joined today by two exceptional leaders. And so to begin our formal proceedings, I would like to introduce Fiona Latos of Global Victoria, representing our excellent major partners, Study Melbourne. Fiona, welcome, over to you. Thank you so much, Anna, and good morning, everyone. Um, I'd first like to acknowledge Miss Christine Christian AO, President of the Library Board of Victoria, and of course, congratulations on your recent, recent appointment as President. Of course, Miss Anna Berkey, Director, Start Space State Library of Victoria, and to you, the, the founders, the entrepreneurs, the international student leaders, and of course, our industry partners. Um, my name is Fiona Litos. I'm the Director of International Education at Global Victoria, where I also head up Study Melbourne. And that sits within the Department of Jobs, Precincts and Regions of the Victorian Government. And it's an absolute pleasure to be here today representing the Victorian Government. It, it is also my pleasure to welcome you all to the Future Founders Festival 2021. The Future Founders Festival is Australia's, if not the world's first and biggest festival celebrating international student entrepreneurship. And of course, now in its second year. It's an initiative proudly supported by Study Melbourne in partnership, of course, with the State Library of Victoria. And what makes today particularly special is that we're joined by many international students offshore as well as across regional Victoria. And in particular to our offshore students, we wanna say that we're just so pleased that you could join us today. And of course, we are so looking forward to welcoming you, welcoming you back very, very soon to Victoria. 
I don't need to tell you that international students are an integral part of our community, but it is something that we always uh, like to acknowledge. You're not only part of Victoria's vibrant multiculturalism and heritage, but you are a vital part of our workforce as a highly educated and globally connected talent pool. And this, of course, is what Future Founders as a community festival is all about. It's about coming together to celebrate our emerging and future leaders and, of course, supporting them to realise their full potential. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Future Founders Festival launch today. Um, of course, our partner, the State Library of Victoria, has again put together an incredible program. This year, we're celebrating innov innovation, diversity and resilience. And the festival program has around 45 speakers, including international student founders, business leaders and alumni across a range of keynotes, panels, workshops and competitions. And the next two days will offer you new ideas, connections to industry, as well as inspiring stories on entrepreneurship and empowerment. And that sense of community and connection, I think, is what defines Victoria as a world class study destination and partner. And with initiatives like Future Founders, students will have increased access to our state's creative and tech industries, and of course, business leaders and investors. And that also links you to Melbourne's $7 billion startup sector, which is a world leading startup sector. Recently, the Victorian government has announced a $50.9 million funding package over four years through the state budget to support the international education sector. So this funding supports new programs to strengthen the international students' return on investment and graduate outcomes through our new strategy, which we call Empowered. So the Study Melbourne Empowered program, Empowered, builds the international students' capacity through targeted and strength-based approach to employability, entrepreneurship and empowerment, including leadership and social capital. Very quickly, um, the program includes a, a number of streams, including Career Catalyst, which is a career accelerator, the first of its kind in Australia. We also have a program called Leadership Labs. It's a highly successful international student leadership program. The next stream, For Impact, is launching in August and it focuses very much on social entrepreneurship. Um, so look out for that one. We also have GSTAR, which is the Global Student Talent Accelerator. We recently launched uh, that through our Study Melbourne hub in Shanghai. Uh, we had more than 30 businesses and industry partners focusing on research and collaboration between Victoria and China. And of course, Future Founders Program, which is our flagship entrepreneurial investment. And this year, we've expanded the program to include continuation of the biggest international student hackathons, intensive boot camps, and Australia's first international student incubator with $10,000 in venture scholarships on offer for up to eight startup teams. And of course, we encourage you to sign up now if you haven't already. Just a note about uh, Victoria's um, investment and the importance of entrepreneurship and diversity to this state. Victoria's inclusion, innovation and self-determination agenda are part of the state's key competitive strengths. And this includes Victoria's thriving startup and social enterprise sectors, including Australia's first initiatives on economic inclusion, LGBTQI plus and gender equality and a treaty process for Aboriginal Victorians. And this year's festival, um, through this year's festival, you'll hear from some really terrific thought leaders and innovators who are championing diversity and inclusion. Uh, speakers such as Winitha Bonney, OAM, who's nationally recognised for building inclusive cultures and advancing people of culture into leadership. Jill Tang, the co-founder of the Shanghai-based social entrepri uh, enterprise, enterprise, I beg your pardon, Ladies Who Tech, with the goal of empowering women. And Dominic So, a former international student and internationally renowned TEDx speaker who has worked with the corporate sector on building resilience. And you can also take part in a special Study Melbourne panel event on the topic of empowering communities with guest speakers, including Wessa Cho, one of Australia's leading champions of multiculturalism, and who has been recently appointed to the Victorian government's anti-racism task force. So over the next two days, please make sure you maximise all of the festival's networking opportunities, the workshops, the training opportunities. There are many ways to connect. Uh, and this also includes the fabulous new digital hub, which has a virtual photo booth and new ways to engage with festival speakers, participants and entrepreneurs. 
Um, we've partnered with the State Library to create this amazing platform for you to take that next step in your entrepreneurial journey. And it's my absolute pleasure to officially declare the festival open and ask you to join me in celebrating our international student future founders. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Fiona. There is so much going on at Study Melbourne. So for those international students who are watching that, please do check out the programs on offer. And once the festival concludes, the rest of the Future Founders program has many more opportunities, as Fiona said, from the hackathon to the boot camps to those venture scholarships for you to come and be involved. I now uh, would like to welcome Melbourne entrepreneur, president of the Library Board of Victoria and the founding funder of Startspace at State Library Victoria, Christine Christian, to uh, continue our formal opening proceedings. Christine, welcome. Thank you, Anna. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge Fiona Latos from Global Victoria. Um, thank you for joining us today and for your continued, ever continued support. Um, it's, it's truly wonderful and, and important to have support of government as we work um, together to develop and indeed um, accelerate Victoria's startup and small business uh, sector. And welcome to all of you. Um, it's terrific to see you, even if I, you know, even if I know that you're there remotely, um, it is terrific um, to see so many, um, so many would-be entrepreneurs who have, um, who have enrolled in this terrific program. Um, but here we go again, um, hosting an event remotely. I mean, I really did think um, last year was a one-off, um, that we would return um, next year to in-person, but, um, but it's not to be. Um, but having said that, it is a testament to um, our flexibility and innovative approach to all things that we've been able to keep um, the festival show on the road, um, as it were. <laughs> Um, a real positive in running this festival as a digital event means that we're able to welcome um, attendees, as, as Anna said in her opening remarks, welcome attendees and speakers from, from around the country and indeed from around the world who potentially would not have been able to attend um, a physical event here in Melbourne um, had, had, we not, had we done it in person. So there, are some, there, are, there have been some positives that have come out of, um, come out of this. Um, it's true to say that the COVID pandemic has had a, a huge impact on our personal lives, on our communities um, and on business, especially small business. Um, and that's why I'm thrilled that Start Space at the State Library in partnership with Study Melbourne is able to offer this free festival to you, our startup and small business founders of the future and hopefully not too distant future. Um, survey after survey, um, there has been so much um, academic commentary um, uh, written about this from all across um, the globe suggests that around half of today's young people plan to start a business at some point throughout their career. But for, for many of them, um, it's the not knowing how to get started, um, let alone run a business profitably and, and indeed the not knowing where to go for help. Um, and that's cited as one of the number one barriers that prevents them from actually initiating um, a, a new business. Um, and for international students, there are indeed additional barriers that include everything from you know, unfamiliar cultural or business environment um, to the practicalities of visas and, 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 and government regulations. And so, hopefully, and indeed I'm confident that Future Founders Festival will help you take those first steps into Victoria's startup ecosystem. And you can continue that journey after the festival by joining Start Space at the State Library. Membership is free um, and you'll be able to further build your skills um, and enhance your know-how, your knowledge and your networks. Um, you'll be able to find more about Start Space online or, or or speak to any of the fantastic um, festival hosts um, uh, uh, present at the festival. Um, Victoria is a great place to found a business. Um, we, have, we have close to 3,000 startups across the state um, and the sector is indeed growing. Um, if we look at the US, we can be inspired by the fact that one in four um, US billion dollar startups were founded by international, by former international students. And that makes perfect sense to me because international students bring such an incredible diversity of experience and perspectives to their host nations. We all benefit from it. 
different experiences bring different ways of thinking to the table. And that sort of melding of ideas is at the heart of innovation. And that's what each of you brings to Victoria's startup sector, your unique outlook, as well as your passion and foresight to create something new and to change something in the world. So please enjoy the Future Founders Festival and take every opportunity to learn, to listen and to connect with each other. You'll be hearing from amazing speakers um, who were once exactly where you are now, global citizens with a business idea waiting for it to become a reality. And I do hope that you'll also become part of our Start Space community. Can't wait to see what you do. Um, and who knows, Australia's next uni unicorn could be right here amongst us today. So good luck, enjoy the festival, and thank you again. Thank you so much, Christine. That was a beautiful opening for our festival from both yourself and thank you, Fiona, for joining us this morning. Uh, welcome, everyone. Let's get started. We can declare the festival officially open and you're able to head over to our first session and our first keynote. If you do get lost at any point, head back to the lobby in the digital hub and you'll see the hamburger menu in the top left hand. Click there head to the agenda and you can view all the festival sessions. The links are right there. And I'll see you in the chat box soon. Thanks very much, everyone, and enjoy.